hello. Welcome to Brew Day. It's a hot Brew Day. This isn't sweat, it's water. I'm just keep on spraying myself water. It's bloody hot. 30, 30 degrees. Anyway, Brew Day. Um, this is my first Brew Day in regards to using the reverse osmosis system. Um, I've also built my new HLT, which is leak free, thank God. Um, it also, let me just. I've got 46 and a half litres of water in there. That's why I'm going to use the whole brew. And it's full. Lovely. Currently sitting at 77, so it's my strike temperature. So just let it reset for a bit. I've also put the false, false bottom in my in my mash tun. And there's all my salts. Uh, calcium carbonate, baking soda, Epsom salt, bloody all sorts. I'm doing a, a cocoa, coca, 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 coconut, I shipe a um, slight variance on Tom's recipe. Just the fact is, I thought I had, and I also thought I had mosaic, but it's gone, it's disappeared. So, literally, half past four, they shot down the old homebrew shop, all they have was citra, so it's gonna be citra. But I think I'm going to do um, everything else I've got. I've got 6 kilos of Marisota, 0.78 of Crystal 10, and 0.35 of, of, of oats. Uh, I've got Columbus, got the coconut, I've got to toast that. Cascade, I've got Citra, and I think I'm going to dry hop with Citra and Galaxy. So I've got about 60 kilos of Galaxy left. 60 kilos, 60 grams, which I had 60 kilos. Um, so, yeah. So it's getting ready to mash in and uh, take it from there. It's freaking hot. Got the extractor on, both extractors on, it's still bloody hot in it. Right, so now we're under letting. So we've got another seven or eight litres to go. There we go, water's coming up now. Look. Take that salt in. I've got a new false bottom in the mash tun as well. I've done away with that bloody monstrosity that I had before. Looking nice and simple. Another three or four litres. <coughs> Nearly there. There you go, the old salt's starting to go. And chalk and all sorts. Nearly there, we're steaming up, and we are there. That's a lot. Start circulating. Get the old hands on. Right, I'll recirculate you. Oh. Set time for one hour. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm recirculating. I'm sitting at uh, well, it's recirculating at 68.9. It's currently 69.4. So I'm running through the herms. Um, I've got sort of pumps out there, here, there, and everywhere at the moment. It's the first time with the old reverse osmosis. It seems like you're putting a lot of, lot of salt in. I've put, uh, I've done a, a, a Burton upon Trent profile. Obviously, you, you put a lot of salt in because there's no salt in the water with obviously reverse osmosis, there's very little anyway. That's obviously why it seems there is a lot. I'm bloody hot still. It's 30, it's 31 degrees. You see that? 31. So, Herbs is doing its business. Got a toast. Toast some um, toast coconut. So I'll be back soon. Right, coming to the end of the boil, uh, uh, the mash. Sorry, oh, to soak myself with the hose. It's very lovely and clear. So I'll show you. Oh, steam, steam, steam. I need to get a spar arm sorted. That's what I'm doing today. Nice bit of tin foil. But it is lovely and clear. Smells good. Bringing the HLT back up to 76. 77, sorry, it's currently on 76. 
26.8 litres of sparge water because I'm doing a uh, what we're doing is it 30 or 34 litre 30 litre so I'm going to bottle all of this I don't see a point of doing smaller brews really nowadays I think it's, it's not far from mature brewing but while you're here it takes you no more time literally to make another 10 litres bottle it I'm going to start bottling it's bottles 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 I've just had a nice surprise. Um, I've been struggling for beer the last few weeks. I've been having to buy beer. It's nice to have obviously have the smash smash beers, but obviously I'm not going to be drinking them as in drink drink. I'm tasting them. Just found half a keg. I thought all my kegs were empty. For whatever reason, I just found half a keg in my keg rater. Or an IPA that I did, uh, a mosaic IPA. Um, it's well over carved. If you've seen how the weight is coming out of the thing, but got half a keg. And this is, uh, uh, some, yeah, it's a mosaic one. Oh, there you are. That's a lot better than it did a couple of months ago. I brewed that in February. That's a bonus, isn't it? Try all right for the next couple of weeks. I'm oh, well happy. It's really nice now. Right. Boiling's just finished. So I've got the toasted coconut. I toasted it myself on the barbecue. On the, I've got 500 grams, so to get 250 grams into now and 250 grams in dry hot. So just tear that and then drop her in. Do you know what? I don't like coconut, but when it's toasted, Nice. 243. 249. There you go. 250. Stir that in. That'll be interesting. Right, post boil. Fourteen bricks. Ten fifty six. Ten fifty six. Now I was aiming for <laughs> ten fifty one. So but I know pre boil was ten forty four. I've gone higher than Tom's, just the fact is I prefer a stronger beer. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a so a 30 litre batch for pre-boil volume um, it was 38.232 litres, which I know is there. Um, and that's what was spot on. Now my post boil 34. We're there. So I have 25, so it's about right. There or thereabouts. Um, so now I'm I'm steeping the uh, coconut. I'm going to get down to 80 degrees, and then I'm going to put in on the steep 31.1 grams of Cascade and 31.1 grams of Citra for 20 minutes. But I'm going to wait till it's 96 degrees at the moment. Wait till it's 80, uh, 80 degrees. It's circulating with my two pump system crap thing on the way out the hops. Right, we're at 80 degrees. Uh, now we've got 31.18 grams of Cascade and 31.18 grams of uh, Citra. I'm using Citra because I thought I had some mosaic, but I didn't. Citra was all they had in my local homebrew shop yesterday afternoon about four o'clock. Uh, 20 minutes steep. Get rid of big lumps, like right, broccoli sprouts. You got like soup now, eh? Right? With the old coconut. So I'd want to get at least 30 litres. Get 19 litres in a keg and then obviously bottle at least 10 litres. Uh, in fact, I'm going to probably do two kegs and then just use my bottling one. Um, and then USO5. And then secondary fermentation. Another 250 grams of, of toasted coconut. 
along with 40 grams of Citra and 40 grams of Galaxy. We're nearly there, we're at 30 degrees, just cooling now. To be honest, it's still 29 degrees, it's 8 o'clock at night. Um, water temperature is about 24 degrees, I'm not going to get much cooler. So, it's going to be a bit of a pig to cool it down. Anyway, this is my first brew using reverse os osmosis. Um, obviously, I've put 46 and a half litres into the HLT, heated up. That's obviously the salt levels from the RO coming out. Added all the extra salts into the mash. Let's see how it turns out. I'm actually friggin' knackered. I'm, I'm beat. The heat today is hideous. Well, I saw you out there, obviously, you're going to be used to a lot of hotter temperatures. I said, England aren't. I'm not filled with pork. Obviously, in 40 days' time, the other 250 grams of toasted coconut goes in. That's going. Hello, Bex. And then, obviously, 40, 40 grams of citra, 40 grams of galaxy. Right. I'm going to call it a day, but I'm absolutely knackered. Now, let's chill. A few degrees more. Stick it in the fermenter. Let's see how we go. See you later.